Hello everybody, my name is Kirby Kwan Jr. and in this video I will be discussing how I made the chest plate for my 2-in-1 cosplay for Anime North. In this video I will be discussing designing the chest plate, the materials that you will be using, pattern transfer, heat forming, as well as gluing the pieces together with contact cement. So if you wait to come and get it, let's get started. Come and get this is Kirby Kwan Jr. Let's go. So as stated in the introduction for this series, I actually didn't design this costume. It will be loosely based off of the armor worn by Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in X-Men Days of Future Past. However, I do need to mention the process that I went through in regards to translating this 2D image that I drew up into 3D. So what I did was firstly I divided it into three different layers. We have the base layer or the sort of ribcage layer and then we have the individual pectoral muscles and then we have the sort of surface detail on top of that. In regards to materials, I used 8mm foam for the base layer or the ribcage, I used 10mm texture kits floor mats for the pectoral plates, and then I used 5mm craft foam for the surface detail. You'll also need a low temperature hot glue for when you fill in your ditches when you do the heat forming process, and you're also going to glue everything else together with contact cement. It doesn't really matter what brand you use necessarily, as long as you get a good tact and it all glues together and stays tight. You're also going to need a rotary tool and some sandpaper as well as a knife to score your foam. And of course cut out your foam as well, that's kind of important. As far as pattern transfer goes, I actually printed three of these and then I printed about two of these. And the reason why I printed three of them is so that I could get all three layers. You know, I could get the base layer, the pectorals, and then I could get the accent pieces. And as far as this goes, why I printed two, I... I don't know actually, I don't remember why I printed two, but, but you're gonna have to print multiple copies for the layering. As far as heat forming goes, I used a 3D printed dome for larger areas such as the pectorals and the general ribcage, and then I also used a pylon or cone for the little lip on the bottom of the ribcage section. Now please take note for the ribcage, what I did was I also used like a exacto knife and it went in about halfway, a little bit more maybe, actually probably more since it's 8 millimeters. So I'm going to score these lines that I drew and, um, and then I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun and then it should open up and I'm going to fill in the glue, fill it, fill it in with glue and that should form like a lip over here and then this should flex out this way and I uh, basically forced a line to open up a little bit more and then I filled it in with hot glue. Now if you want to learn more about this process, which is the same process that I use for my Batman abs, I will put a link up in the top right corner of your screen so you can check that video out. But that's basically what I did for heat forming. Not a whole lot because it's just the chest plate. Now let's quickly talk about gluing everything together with contact cement. Oh my god, it smells like shit. <laughs> Potent glue. So what you need to do is apply the glue in a thin layer to both sides of your pieces and then let it sit for about five minutes. Now what I used to apply the contact cement was actually just a scrap piece of foam and it seems to work out fine. And then after let it sit for five minutes, you could apply contact to both pieces and let that sit for about another five minutes for it to fully cure and then you should be good to go. For larger pieces, I actually did let it sit for 10 minutes and then what I did was I used the heat gun and I just really lightly spritzed it sort of to react activate the glue and then I applied the two pieces together and then it's stuck together nicely. Anyways, before the battery dies, this is what the piece currently looks like. Don't focus on my face. Don't focus on my face. Do not focus on my face. There we go. That's what the piece looks like. Now before y'all trip about this, this is strictly just a chest plate. So it's just the chest and then a little bit of the rib cage. I am not done with this. I don't have the uh, the sort of the waist and the abs on this, which is why it looks so short. But that's pretty much it for the process. But that will be it for day one. Basically, I just did the chest plate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys learned something new. And I will be continuing making more cosplay content for this channel, so please look forward to that. My name is Kirby Kwan Jr. and I hope y'all had a good day. And I'm out for now. Take care.